for the Roll Radio Network, I'm Joe Gangwish, and we're going to visit with Barb Cooksley from Anselmo, Nebraska, and President-elect of Nebraska Cattlemen, correct? Correct. Barb, let's talk about your testimony today. A lot of interesting things that you said at the uh, Wattis hearing that took place in Lincoln over the weekend, put together by Senator Fisher. Good chance for folks to hear about the proposed regs of the Waters of the U.S. rule. Uh, first of all, give us an overview of your testimony. I was able to bring a private landowner perspective from the Sand Hills, and it was important that they hear uh, the impacts of further regulation, uh, extension of their overreach, and basically the uncertainty that we still have if this proposed rule goes through. Would I be able to continue with my day-to-day -day practices on the ranch, uh, big building a fence, uh, haying our wet meadows? Um, just caring for the land in a responsible way, the way we have been. We don't know if we'll be able to continue that if this rule goes through. You got an interesting perspective by showing some slides of your operation and actually some areas you had some concern about on your home operation. To talk a little bit more about that. Uh, the one example when it was a, a dry uh, channel and only under uh, a very wet year when we get above uh, average moisture and cooler temperatures will that channel have uh, standing water in it. With today's rules we're able to use that uh, pasture the way we want to. Cattle can walk back and forth across it, we can drive vehicles to maintain uh, water facilities, fences the way we are. We question, and that's why I put it up on the slide, will that draw now come under the jurisdiction of WOTUS? And that's why we would like it to, uh, to stop where it's at, and they, we want them to withdraw the rule and work with us and let us explain to them the impacts it could have. And uncertainty was kind of the rule of the day, I think, and that was kind of the common theme over a lot of folks that testified. Yes, when they uh, give you a definition or they say this is exempted, this ditch is exempted, and then they go on to define that exemption to say if it's wholly, wholly uh, on an upland, and then they fail to, dis to tell you what is an upland, and the ditch will be exempted if zero water flows down that ditch. Uh, common sense, if you're out on the land, a ditch was probably created and had water in it at some point and so it did not help the, the proposed rule just hasn't helped us uh, put our minds at ease as to how we carry on our day-to-day -day business and you had an interesting point on the floodplains and how those would be affected too and to talk more about that floodplains are interesting uh, they have riparian areas around any standing water um, the Corps would be allowed to use uh, their best professional judgment on a case-by-case -case basis if uh, these floodplains and riparian areas and next to tributaries would be affected. Well, since every business, every ranch would be different, even every pasture on our ranch would be different, how can a case-by-case -case best professional judgment, uh, I mean, who's to judge how professional that is. Um, again, it's, it was just a kind of a scary thought that this is how I have to run my business with uncertainty. Uh, it, it's not comforting. From the viewpoint of agriculture, do we uh, continue to, to fight the good fight uh, against this? Where do we, or from your perspective, where do we go from here? I think we do uh, fight the good fight. Today's panel, I thought, showed how unified we are on our desire to, to maintain surface water, groundwater, keep it in good quality, but we also want to grow our economy in the state. Uh, no, I think we, we continue on, we tell our story, and uh, when we have folks like Senator Fisher who's willing to bring Senate staff out here, record this, take it back to D.C. for us. Um, It'll have impact. We just have to be patient, and that's what we do in agriculture. We're, we're very patient. 
Barb Cooksley from Anselmo, Nebraska, president-elect of Nebraska Cattlemen. Uh, one of the folks testifying here today at the uh, Senate committee hearing for the waters of the U.S. proposed rule by EPA. From Lincoln for the Rural Radio Network, I'm Joe Gangwish.